Hi everyone, hope you're doing well from whatever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, the discussion about the 2023-2024 finance bill is going to be with us here until when members of parliament are going to vote on that bill and give light going forward. That's when we will know how far this government is going to oppress us, how far William Ruto is going to milk us. And so, today, the Kamega Senator Boni Wale was on an interview at Student TV uh, with Trevor Ombija. And uh, Trevor Ombija asked him a question about his view on the bill, financial bill that is going to be voted for soon. If you listen to the response from Boni Wale, it is a clear message to William Ruto, to Kenyans, to Azimio, members of parliament, and anyone who care about the future of this country and the people who live in this country. Boni Wale is against overtaxing of Kenyans. In fact, Kalwale is saying that you cannot tax Kenyans into prosperity. Halwale, in his response, went further to quote Wilson Churchill, and this is what he said. Eh? One of the great politician thinker, Wilson, Winston Churchill, said that trying to tax a country into prosperity is like asking a man to stand in a back bucket and lift him up is impossible. Halwale is telling William Samay Ruto, overtaxing Kenyans is impossible. Taxes as of now is standing at 8%. Ruto want to take it to 16%, double. And if you check properly, at the end of the day, you will pay taxes three times. It is going to triple. Listen to Boni Halwale delivering a message to William Samay Ruto, then from here, we will continue with this discussion. Uh, many Kenyans know that one of the great thinkers, political thinkers of the past, uh, Prime Minister Winston Churchill, spoke very strongly on the issue of taxation. And he said, trying to tax a country into prosperity is like asking a man to stand in a bucket and lift himself up. <laughs> it's impossible. That was Winston Churchill. Having said that... So we can't tax ourselves to prosperity? No, you cannot. That one, there's no way. You cannot. You try it even now. Bring a bucket there. Stand in that bucket. Hold the handle and go lift yourself up. How will you go up? And my appeal on this show is that taxes must be affordable, in tandem with the realities on the ground. Two, taxes once collected, they must be seen to be proportional to the services that are offered after people pay taxes. Yeah. And then finally, taxes must be managed. Let me give you an example. Yeah. The tax on housing. It's quite interesting. We have people who will be paying this, uh, if, if it becomes law, who will be paying this tax, and they have no intention whatsoever to buy a house. What do you do with their money? We have people who, for example, ha have, have gone beyond the, um, the, 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 the longevity that it would make sense for you to take mortgage because of age. Because of age, how do you handle their contribution? So we are expecting that the, the the experts, the economists, this weekend, Senator Nyonga and I, not this weekend, uh, two days ago, Senator Nyonga and I had a retreat with the country's top economists for one day in Mombasa, and these are the things we are speaking to. It's not enough just to do politics. Okay. You must speak to their realities. Do you believe Kenyans are overtaxed if this bill was to pass? I told you at the beginning, nobody likes taxes. Even me personally, I feel overtaxed. 
because I would do some extra uh, free money in my pocket, but it's not there. At the end of the day, it's a question of balancing your taxes and what the taxes do for you. Okay. In the now we are continuing with the panel discussion, but just a quick request for those who are watching and you have not subscribed, please consider subscribing to the returning subscribers. I said thank you so much, and again to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much, and back to this discussion. Now, if the financial bill that was prepared by the CS4 Finance Jogonan Dung is going to pass, then I'm telling you. Kenyans are going to be robbed on a broad daylight by William Samaruto's government. You will be robbed to finance William Ruto's project. You are going to be robbed to finance William Ruto's appetite for your money. You are going to be robbed to finance William Ruto's desire to please his close allies through appointment through corruption in the projects that they want to put in their manifesto and in many other ways. Bwene Halwane is not just an ordinary person. The person who has been speaking here is the majority whip in the Senate. That means he is in the government office. He is driving a government car. He has a flag on his car. He speaks for the government. His work is to whip people in the direction in which the government want the voting or any bill to go. So, mutu wa whip watu kwa senate. Anasema ya kwamba, he is not going to vote in favor of that bill in case it is presented before him. Tunajua main of this work happened in the National Assembly. But listen to Galwale careful. He need to whip people to vote for that bill. But he's saying what? He is against it. He's telling William Ruto, you cannot tax Kenyans to prosperity. That's Bonnie Galwale. So what is the message here? If Galwale, who is enjoying the privileges in the government is against the bill prepared by the government. Itakuwaje upate wabunge ambao mapegia kura kwa mrengo wa azimio. They have been bribed by William Ruto to vote in the interest of the executive in that bill. I'm telling you, Ruto is going to buy people. And if he's buying people, he will buy as meal. He will buy some from Kenya Kwanza. Wale wakusumbua. So that this bill is going to pass. Kama kalwale mwenyewe. Anakata. Itakuwaje wabunge wa as meal. Wanza ku. Support mambo kama haya. But as we continue. Honorable. Caleb Hamisi. Has a solution. For you on how you're going to deal with the your member of parliament in case they're going to vote in favor of this bill. Tunajua wengi wanaenda kununuliwa. Lakini kama watanunuliwa, here is the message from Honorable Caleb Hamis. Dear taxpayers, don't scream for the obli or obnoxious punitive taxes in the finance bill 2023. Why did you vote for your MP? Just turn on your TV and watch how your MP votes. Whether Kenya Kwanza or Azimio, those who vote for it, chase them away when they visit the constituency or invade their homes to get food, fuel, cloth, school fees, and shelter. Those who vote against it, celebrate them and vote them again. That is how we are going to change Kenya. Enough of talking. Time for action. It is your life. Don't cry when all the sovereign power belongs to you. That is Caleb Hamisi. How a jama wanaenda kupiga ikura. It will be life. 
So we will know how they are going to vote. If they vote for it, then they come and start decrying, telling you how the life is hard, telling you how the government is oppressing Kenyans. Don't listen to that. Just watch them when they are voting. You will know your member of parliament how he voted. Come and pick up to support his bill. When you lack school fees, invade his home. Ena tuko boma yaki. Mwambia na taka school fees. Akupe. Because this life is going to be very expensive. The government of William Ruto has been wasteful. They have been overspending. And Akalwale has already alluded to that. He's talking about how government has been overspending in those retreat meetings, in those delegations that have been going out of this country, in so many ways. Fifth CASS. Project that will never be realized. To siphon money. So it tells you that you cannot overtax people, then you think that the country will grow. It will never happen. It cannot work. So Ruto want to try it, but it is high time people should tell him no. And of course, your members of parliament have a duty to either defend you or take bribe and vote in the interest of one William Samoy Ruto. Kama kalwala nakata, uyo mbunga yako ni nani akubalena na ima neno. Kama kalwala nazayenda kwa TV, live address William Samoy Ruto. Amwambie, you cannot tax Kenyans to think that it will lead into prosperity. Wewe ni mbunga ambaye umechaguliwa na wananchi. Wewe ni nani? Who vote for a bill. This is a person who is the majority whip. Anakata. Anafesi ruto kwa kamera na muambia. Then wana mbunga yazimia anavote that side. They must be dealt with it.